Have you ever felt like you need a secret decoder ring just to plug something into your computer? You get a new gadget, you're all excited, but the cable won't fit any of the holes. You are not alone. In the next four minutes, we're going to solve this forever. You'll know what every socket is for, which cables you actually need, and which ones can go straight into the junk drawer. But here's a question. Is the most powerful port on your computer one you don't even use? USB family. USB-A is that classic rectangle plug you still have to flip three times to get it in right. It's used for almost everything, from keyboards and mice to memory sticks. Though they all look the same, their speeds can be wildly different, so you have to read the tiny print on the box. USB-B is the chunky, squarish plug with slanted corners. You'll see this guy on devices that don't move much, like printers and older external hard drives. It's a tough connector, but not a pretty one. USB-C is the small, symmetrical oval that finally lets you plug it in correctly on the first try. This is the future. It's a superhero that can handle high-speed data, send video to a monitor, and deliver enough power to charge your laptop, all through one single cable. If you only buy one cable this decade, make it a good USB-C. Video Vort. HDMI is the flat, trapezoid-shaped port you'll find on every TV, video game console, and most computers. It's the king of the living room. Newer versions, like HDMI 2.1, are fast enough to handle super crisp 4K or even 8K video, making your movies and games look incredible. DisplayPort looks a lot like HDMI, but with one corner cut off. This is the top choice for computer professionals and gamers because it's even more powerful, able to run multiple high-resolution monitors from a single port. It also has a little clicky lock that you have to press to unplug. VGA is the old blue port with 15 little pins. It's a fossil from the analog age, often found on old projectors. The picture gets fuzzy on modern screens, so if you see one, it's definitely time for an upgrade. Mini DisplayPort and Micro HDMI are just smaller versions of their bigger brothers, designed for portable gadgets like cameras and tablets. Just remember to pack the right adapter. Network Ethernet is the thick plastic port with a clip that looks like a telephone jack that's been hitting the gym. This is for your wired internet. If your Zoom call stutters or your game lags every time you're on Wi-Fi, Plugging in an Ethernet cable will give you a much faster and more reliable connection. Audio The 3.5mm jack is the small round hole for headphones and microphones that refuses to disappear. It's a simple universal port that's been around forever because it just works. On many computers, the port with the pink ring is for your mic and the green one is for headphones. Storage and Media SD cards are the flat, rectangular memory cards that slide into cameras, drones, and some laptops to transfer photos and videos. You just push the card in until it clicks. To get it out, you push it in again and it pops right back out. Micro SD is the tiny, fingernail-sized version of the SD card. It's used in phones, small cameras, and drones. If you plan on recording high-quality video, Look for a card with V30 or U3 on it to avoid choppy results. Legacy Graveyard PS-2 ports are the old round color-coded plugs, purple for keyboard, green for mouse, that you might still find on some desktop computers. Serial and parallel ports are even older, long rectangular connectors once used for printers and lab equipment. For most people, these are just museum pieces. Power Cable Barrel chargers are the little round plugs that power laptops and other devices. They come in dozens of different sizes and voltages. If you lose the original and use the wrong one, you risk frying your electronics. USB-C power delivery is the sane modern solution. One powerful USB-C charger can now be used to safely power your laptop, tablet, and phone, ending the game of voltage roulette. Hub Life Super thin laptops save space by ditching most of their ports. That's why USB-C hubs have become essential. A good hub plugs into one USB-C port and gives you back everything you're missing, like HDMI for a monitor, extra USB-A ports for your old devices, and an SD card reader. Thunderbolt looks identical to USB-C, but it's a supercharged version. 
It's so fast and powerful you can use it to connect professional gear, like an external graphics card to turn your laptop into a gaming powerhouse. Real Thunderbolt ports and hubs are expensive, so be wary of cheap ones making big promises. So here's the deal. USB-C is your new best friend for data, video, and power. Use HDMI for TVs and consoles, and DisplayPort for high-end monitors. Plug in an Ethernet cable for rock-solid internet. The 3.5mm jack is for your ears. The SD slot is for your camera. And you can let everything else retire. <laughs> if this saved you from plug-in paralysis, hit like, smash subscribe, and drop your weirdest port story below. I read every one. Need the full Thunderbolt vs. USB 4 breakdown? Next video's queued and ready.